Nixon said of Q1 FI25 numbers, gross margins came a slightly under pressure. The revenue was aided by accelerated brand investments and scaling of distribution. To discuss this, we have with us Ashwini Arora, the MD and CEO of Healthy Foods, who joins in now. Mr. Arora, thank you very much uh, for joining in. Well, if we could just start by talking about your gross margins, which have come under pressure. Uh, what were the input costs like this time round? How much have they risen? And what is your outlook with regards to the input costs as well? So, as you rightly said, you know, this is a little bit uh, twenty tips, you know, because of the input cost increase. And we are expecting, you know, the the new crop is coming in the month of you know, uh, October. So, we are expecting, you know, the prices will be, uh, you know, uh, down. And therefore, you know, that will help us in, in the you know, quarter four or quarter you know, the next year, improving the margin. So you will see a margin improvement for the rest of the year, Mr. Rudra. What's the target for FI 25? 25, 26, I'm talking, you know, we are optimistic that, you know, the, the margin will improve. Okay, all right. You're optimistic that the margin will improve, but give us a number to it. So, you know, uh, I think uh, let the new crop come and, you know, we will be more firm on uh, the guidance. But uh, okay. as far as you know, the trends are coming, the crop is more 50% higher than the last year. And uh, we are expecting that, you know, the commodity price will come down, that will improve our costs and that will improve our cross margin. Okay, all right. Uh, you know, let's talk about your organic foods business. The volume growth here has returned. This time around, the volume growth is 34%. The revenue growth is slightly lower though, 33%. So, uh, is this some pricing pressure that you're seeing or is it because of higher ex-soya mix that you've seen that this volume growth is coming higher than revenue growth? Uh, and what is the growth that you're seeing in other portfolios? So, in the organic business, you know, we, we are improving, uh, we are adding the new product in the portfolio. So, that has helped us to, you know, improve both in the margins and uh, the top. And we are, we are optimistic uh, on the or, uh, organic business. Uh, our stock and sell model in Europe and America is getting strengthened. So, uh, we see a good prospect in that business. And we are launching, we are launching the, you know, the eco-life brand of organic in India in the coming quarter. Do you have a target uh, for volume and value in FI25, the breakup between these two? So, organic contribute uh, roughly 10 to 11 percent to our revenue. So, as you know, the core business is also growing, the, the new product business is also growing. So, we are expecting that, you know, uh, the proportion will be uh, remain same. Which is? Which is uh, uh, 10 to 12 percent. Okay. Uh, you know, let's talk about your international business. You've done a lot of efforts in the US, in Europe as well. Uh, how is that portfolio performing right now? Because we've been talking about a lot of exporters, the Red Sea issues, high freight costs. That seems to be denting demand. Uh, what about you? Are you sp facing some pressures here as well? How much did exports grow this time? So, as far as demand is uh, concerned, you know, we are growing. We have grown in the US 20%. We have grown in Europe. 11 percent and rest of the world 14 percent so we are making sure you you know we lose don't lose say although you know we have little bit impact on the margin because of the red sea rate has increased but we are not uh, let you know uh, the the loss of sale happen okay you do have some capex which is coming up uh, in the uk we you do we do understand that there is a facility which has been commissioned or uh, a uh, new uk manufacturing hub which is in essex uh, can you just give us a sense in terms of what the annual revenue potential is from there which are the markets that you would be servicing so as far as market uk is concerned you know it's a one billion dollar market both cooked rice and dry rice and uh, we have just set up a facility uh, in in UK in London, Arlo, and uh, that that uh, we have inaugurated in 11th of July, and uh, we are expecting 
first year, 40 million dollar uh, pound of sales uh, this year. And we are optimistic that in five years, we are targeting to be 100 million. Okay. Mm. Any of the retailers that you've partnered with, with this 400 million uh, pounds start in FY25 itself, or will it be prorated this time? Yeah, yeah, we have partnered with you know, one of the best retailer in the UK. So all the majority of the retailers uh, we have signed for. Okay, all right. Uh, what about the other geographies, the other international geographies? You do have a presence in US and Europe as well. Give us a sense in terms of what the volumes are like within those geographies. What is the growth like? And cumulatively, what is your export market growing at um, for the entire fiscal? What, do you, what are you guiding for? Yeah, so uh, as you know, I said about USA and Europe and Far East, so we are present in 80 countries. We have a ground presence in USA, Europe. And uh, we, are, we are expecting this growth momentum to be, you know, continued. As you know, this growth is led by, you know, the consumption. As you know, now most of the South Asian people are shifting to, you know, that part of the world that is leading the growth. And the second is that, you know, people are moving from other rices to basmati rice because of its, you know, uh, the, the speciality aroma taste. And being a strong brand across the world, with, you know, Tawad, the leading brand globally, and Royal, which is a uh, uh, North America brand, holding a 50% market share. So mm -hmm. we are in a strong position to capture the, you know, the, the potential of the growth. Okay. Uh, what about the Uganda facility? When will that be commissioned? You had set it up to mitigate the potential impact from anti-dumping duty on soy meal. Uh, what is the update here and what is the revenue potential from this facility? So Uganda, you know, already we have set up the facility that is for our organic business for soya meal. So that is already uh, on, uh, you know, now, you know, year on year uh, it will grow and that will strengthen our soya meal business and, you know, other organic product from the Srika part. Okay, what is the revenue contribution there? Has it started already? No, yeah, it already started, but not uh, uh, substantial. So I don't have the numbers right now, but not very substantial. Okay. All right, uh, so we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that is LT Foods. They are adding new p products in their portfolios. They are expecting it to aid revenue and margins going forward. They're quite bullish on the UK business, which is worth around $1 billion. But uh, 